Hello Unigame fans, in this edition of surprise releases, I do have quite a number of content patches and DLC along with a couple of neat smaller titles, where I think that there's something for everyone in this video. Let's begin with Dream Cycle The Reforging, the latest update to a very interesting action-adventure title that does have procedurally generated worlds. The setting is inspired by Lovecraft's Dreamlands, which is quite different from the New England-inspired towns from his other stories, and does come to us from the creator of Tomb Raider, which makes it of interest. This is quite a large revamp which changes the intro and tutorial, adds various new objectives, missions, puzzles, voice acting and more, shipping up to be a decent game. People do love the first-person simulator House Flipper, where you are cleaning up, repairing and renovating houses to sell them for profit, with the latest update being Pets. It of course adds a furry companion to your side as you carry out your work, with 10 dog and cat breeds to choose from, as well as other creatures like rabbits, turtles, and guinea pigs, including new properties to renovate and a lot of new items. Haha, <laughs> welcome aboard! Gather your friends and be ready to do your part. This ship won't work by itself. A curious little game is No Captain Allowed, a co-op roguelite title that has 1-4 to four players working together to keep the vehicle moving along. It looks like lovers in a dangerous space-time mixed with Overcooked, where the roguelite structure of this might add quite a bit of replayability, so do check it out with some friends. Repair things! Clean the floor? And kick ass! But no captains! Everything must be voted. Do you think you need an upgrade instead of repairs? Vote for it! Think you can be friends with a mad robot? Well, it's your vote. There are many paths to your way out. If you already know where to go, be quick and convince the crew, or they'll choose for you. And when you make the wrong choices, who cares? Try again with a new strategy. Or a better crew. Many would have died that with the fall of Tarsis. The latest paid DLC for Red Solstice to Survivors is titled Insurgents, adding a whole new campaign and more, making it worth getting if you love the base game. The corporation we knew may have rebranded as the Phalanx, but the blood of the innocent doesn't wash off so easily. We, the insurgency, know the risks. Elysium can run and change its name all at once but they will be brought to justice. And it just so happens, we have the tools to get it done. Even so, the war in the shadows continues, as it's not just the Phalanx Initiative we have to worry about. Danger lurks around every corner, but with each step forward, we will be closer to our goal. No matter the cost, we will make it back to Earth. For the insurgency! A title that has gone under the radar relative to its earlier entry is Super Life Franchise Lord, being the sequel slash spin-off of Super Life RPG from 2019. The original had you controlling a character whose life was like an RPG, where going to the gym leveled up your strength for example, being fairly popular on YouTube where this title is instead a management sim with idol game elements. You are now setting up and running franchise businesses upgrading and making decisions in order to grow your empire, and given that it's free, why not check it out?
Death roams the streets. Fear has taken a hold on the city. Night after night, people are disappearing, leaving only the echoes of dripping blood. The city guard is powerless, and would-be heroes are dead. Thankfully, in Gloomhaven, salvation has a price. But will you prove to be enough against the horrors that lie below? It might take everything you have just to survive. Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion is quite a funny entry since this is the latest paid DLC to the digital adaptation of one of the most popular board games of all time, where this mirrors the board game expansion of the same name with a new campaign and 4 new mercenaries to choose from, bringing it up to speed with the physical version. Earn your gold or die trying, mercenary. A release that caught me by surprise is Gunfire Reborn Mobile. The mobile port of one of the best roguelite first person shooters on the market, but in hindsight, it's quite an obvious decision given how large the mobile install base really is. I've tried this on mobile and it was serviceable, still preferring mouse and keyboard myself, but I can see this being good on the go. I'm actually quite surprised at the post-release support of Curious Expedition 2, where Shores of Taishi is their second paid DLC, adding a new island type in the Celestial Shores, new characters, enemies, locations, equipment and more, making this great game even better. One of the games that I covered very early on in my YouTube journey is Kingdoms and Castles from 2017, where I'm absolutely stunned at the success that this has had, where they just released the AI Kingdoms update, which took them something like one and a half years. This adds opponent AI players to the game, which you can chat, trade and fight with, which is something that was missing when I played it all those many years ago. AI opponents in games are not easy things to code, so I'm excited to give it a go to see how advanced it really is. In addition, there are plenty of upgrades and improvements, some of which were community suggestions, including additional units, buildings, mechanics, a mini-map and so much more, with this has an astounding 20,000 Steam reviews and a very positive rating, making this especially of interest. A conqueror had come, and Raji was the only one with the power to stop him. But it was her only way to reach Gulu. An awesome action adventure title that has gone under the radar in the grand scheme of things is Raji, an ancient epic from 2020, which is a title that I quite like, but they just released the enhanced edition update, which makes it the best time to play if you have not. <laughs> This is an action-adventure title with an Indian theme, where your heroine has to fight against invading demons to save her brother, with the key highlights being improved AI, difficulty modes, Hindi voiceover and more subtitle options, new execution animations, improved boss fights, 
retracing support and so much more, making this the way to play it, taking the number one spot. For more action adventure games, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.